Today I'm going to walk you through how to update the firmware on HearLink. I'm going to walk you through the steps to update to the latest version as well as show you how to activate this firmware once the update has been performed. The first thing you will need to do is download the latest firmware. To do this you need to go to docs.qpilot.org. Once on the site, if you go on the top little corner and change it down to beta and this will give you the current latest information. Then click on how to update firmware and here it will show you the actual process as well as giving you the links to the downloads. Now there is a firmware flasher available for PC, Mac as well as Linux systems as well. Once you have downloaded the firmware for your system, you will need to put your HearLink in fast boot mode. To do this, you simply turn the device off, connect your USB cable, and then press and hold the power and the D button at the same time. Once you do this properly, your HearLink will turn on and it will come up and say fast boot on the display. Next, connect the other side of the USB to your computer and run the firmware flasher file. This will detect the device and begin the download and update process. Here I'm showing you the process on my Mac, however it is exactly the same on PC. Once the firmware flasher is complete, the device will reboot and you're ready to perform the second stage of the update process. Once HearLink reboots, the first thing you will need to do is set your region from the little drop down on the right hand side. Then you will need to put your HearLink onto Wi-Fi to allow it to perform the second part of the update. To do this, you pull down from the top, press and hold on the Wi-Fi icon on the left hand side, turn Wi-Fi on and connect it to the Wi-Fi at your location. Once this is done, you can then click back, return to the main screen and click the proceed button. Next, HueLink will ask you to register your device. Here you will need to input your 16 digit key. If you've just bought HueLink, this should be located on the outside of the box. If you have an older version of HueLink, you would need to talk to your reseller to get your key before being able to do this next step. Once you've put your key in, you simply click register and then HueLink will begin the process for checking for the second part of the update. You then simply click update and it will begin that down Download, perform the update in the background, reboot and then HueLink will land back on the main splash screen allowing you to select which launcher you want to use. You should click the HueLink launcher and click always and this then will set it to the main home screen which gives you the options for both Q ground control as well as Solex. And that is the update for the ground station complete. Next, you will need to update the ear unit. Before you do this, there are two things you need to be aware of. The ear unit must be externally powered to perform the update via its DC input, and you must have the antennas connected at all times. To perform the update, you simply plug the USB into the side of the ear unit from your computer, make sure that it is powered externally and you do have the antennas connected, and then simply run the same flasher file that you used for the ground station. This will run the update, and once that is complete, both parts of the system are updated.